Once upon a time, there was a little mermaid. She lived in an underwater kingdom with her three older sisters and their father, who was the sea king. The little mermaid was very happy. I just love exploring the ocean with my fish friends. But there was one thing she wanted more than anything in the world. I wish I could go to the ocean surface and see what life is like on land. I want to be where the people are. All of the Little Mermaid sisters were old enough to visit the surface and they would tell her about their travels. When I went to the surface, I saw humans dancing on their legs. And they eat all kinds of funny foods like pizza and tacos and broccoli. Have you seen all of the different kinds of animals they have on land? Yesterday, I saw something called a dog. Finally, after years of waiting, the Little Mermaid was old enough to visit the surface. Today you may visit the surface, my daughter. I know how excited you are, but you must promise to be safe and not to talk to any humans or let them see you. They could be dangerous. Okay, father. She swam up and up and up until she came to the top. Wow, it's so beautiful and the sun feels so nice and warm. What a lovely place. Wait, what is that? A giant ship was passing by. The Little Mermaid couldn't help her curiosity and swam closer to get a better look. She could see that a handsome prince was on board. She was so curious she watched him all day and saw that he was not only handsome, but also very kind. The Little Mermaid fell in love with him. Ah, <sighs> I'm in love. Suddenly, there was a terrible storm. Rain poured and lightning struck. The ocean's waves grew tall and rough and threw the prince's ship until it crashed and sank. My father said, but I can't let him drown. I must save him. The little mermaid caught him just in time and swam him to the shore. She watched from a distance until he woke up and she knew that he was okay. She wanted to stay with him, but knew she must go back home. Wait, I thought I saw a beautiful, beautiful girl who saved my life. Where is she? I must find her. Days went by and the Little Mermaid was very sad. <sighs> I miss my prince so much. How could I ever be with him? Then she remembered a story her older sisters had told her about a sea witch who lived in the far depths of the ocean. I wonder if I could find this sea witch. Maybe she will help me. And so the Little Mermaid swam and swam down, down until she was deeper into the ocean than she'd ever been before. It was there she found the sea witch and told her all about the handsome prince. Ah, yes, I can help you. Drink this potion and you will grow legs, but the potion will take your voice away. If the prince loves you as you love him in three days time, then all will be well. You can keep your legs and you will get your voice back. But if he doesn't love you, the spell will be broken. You will turn back into a mermaid and I will keep your voice forever. Hmm, I know it's risky, but I'll take the chance. So she swam to the shore once again and drank the potion. She could feel the magic working. And then when she looked down, she had two human legs. Just then, the prince happened to be taking a walk on the beach. Oh, hello. Wow, you look so familiar and beautiful. What's your name? The little mermaid tried to speak, but remembered that she couldn't. It's okay if you can't talk. I don't mind. Here, why don't you come to my castle for dinner? We're having pizza. Even though the little mermaid couldn't speak, she and the prince had so much fun together. They played games and danced 
and read books together. One day, the prince went to his parents to tell them he loved the Little Mermaid. Hey, Mom, Dad, guess what? Wait, who is this? It was another princess. Are you the one who saved me from the sinking ship? Uh, yep. Then it is you who I love, I guess. The Little Mermaid tried to tell him who really saved him, but she had no voice to tell him he was wrong. Her three days were almost up, and the Little Mermaid knew she must leave before the spell was broken, so she ran away. The prince was worried and followed her. Wait, where are you going? He followed her and watched as she reached the ocean and turned into a mermaid. It was you who saved me. It is you I truly love. But it was too late. She was already turned into a mermaid and her voice would be gone forever. No, it's not too late. My daughter, do you love this prince? The little mermaid nodded. Then you shall be with the one you love. He tapped his magical trident and the little mermaid was turned back into a human. And this time she had her voice too. Oh, father, thank you. My prince, I'm so happy that we can be together now. Me too. And they continued to have fun together for the rest of their lives, dancing, playing games, and singing songs. And they lived happily ever after.